Another Friday and it's the next year business break. Today I got my friend Xavi with me. Hello everybody, this is Xavi. I am the PLM for a manage and plus switches here at Netgear. Yeah, thanks for helping me out with this video because we got to explain these two new devices. We have the PoE Click Switch and the PoE Easy Mount Switch and they come with five new PoE management features, correct? Correct. That's the five of those. Let's list them. We got the, let's see if we can list them. <laughs> okay. We got the PoE Budget Management, we got the Temperature Check, and then we also have the, the uh, Port Priority. Correct. So that's three of those. Mm -hmm. We also have the Fault Status. Mm -hmm. That's the fourth of the features. And we also have the power cycle. Correct. All right. Let's go into detail so the, the viewers can know what they are really. Exactly right. So let's start for the PoE budget management. That's one of the key features that we have in both of switches. So in the click PoE switch, we have 47 watt of PoE budget and 124 watt in the easy mount switch. For uh, just to be aware about the PoE budget management, is the PoE budget management is the feature that allows us to control granularly how much power we want to deliver per port. So, uh, just to let you know why is that important is because some of the devices when we plug it into the switch, they don't report properly how much power they need. So for example, sometimes I, I connect a phone into the switch and instead of requiring 3, 4 watts, they require 15 watts. And that could be an issue, for example, in this switch or in this switch where the PoE budget is uh, important. We have 47 watt and 124 watt to manage it. So thanks to the PoE budget management, I can be sure that I only gonna need like four watt per uh, this per each port if it's like a phone or if it's like a, a camera that requires more power. I can assign more power to the camera, so uh, that gonna give me the granularity to manage well my PoE budget uh, in each of these switches. So that's one of the first features that I wanted to to talk about. So PoE budget management. Remember the second one that is really important is the poor priority, the PoE poor priority. So let's say that we have four cameras connected to uh, our click switch. In this case, uh, we have these four cameras that are recording, but some of these cameras cannot be as important uh, equally important. For example, I have one of the cameras that is in port number one that is the one that is in the main entrance. So that's the one that absolutely I need to make sure that it's recording all the time. So what happened is that in a normal switch, if we don't have this feature, uh, all the ports are equal priority. So you cannot uh, assure that uh, uh, this camera will gonna be always up and running if you are running out of power or if you are experiencing any issue in terms of power management. So instead of that, with the PoE port priority, we can make sure that the camera that is really it's the, in the port number one will be always up and running. So that's the second one. So uh, we already covered the PoE budget management. The second one is about the port priority. The third one is about the PoE fault status. That's also a really important feature for our click uh, PoE switch and our easy mount switch. So what currently happens with the PoE uh, installations is that we connect, for example, a camera or a phone or an access point to our switch, but sometimes we have issues. It doesn't power it up, it doesn't work. So what we do in these cases, so sometimes I just swap the switch for another one, I swap the camera or the phone or the access point for another one, and sometimes I, yeah, swap the cord. So it's kind of like a guessing, but that can take us time. Imagine if you have to swap all the cords, so it's gonna be like really hard. So instead of doing that, with the fault status, with the PoE fault status, the switch is gonna tell us why it's not working. It could be like, we don't have enough power. I don't know, we have a cable issue. Or for example, we have a device that's not PoE standard uh, that uh, we cannot pour it on. So the switch gonna help us to troubleshoot this issue. So this is the third uh, 
third feature that I wanted to talk. The fourth one is about the power cycle. So that's also another cool feature. So for example, I have one of these easy mount switches installed at my home where I have like some phones connected. But let's say that mm, one of the phones is not working and uh, what I do. So normally I have to go to my home uh, and power the phone, connect it back again. Like a normal troubleshooting, you know, the first tap of any troubleshooting reboot. <laughs> That's the first one. Uh, but to do that, normally I have to be there. It's a physical, uh, physical uh, thing. Instead of that, with the um, easy mount and the PoE click switch, we integrated the power cycle feature. So the power cycle feature, it allows us to uh, through the web interface to power cycle the, the, the port. So it's the same thing as if I was uh, unplug it in, unplug it in back again. So it's a reboot basically, but we can do it through the web interface. So that's a really cool feature. And the fifth one that's really cool, it's the temperature check. So in our easy mount and in our click PA switch, we have the temperature check. So what it does is that it checks the temperature on the port in, so we can be uh, preventing any issue or any failure of any of our devices like a camera or a phone or an access point or right now even door controllers. So we can check if something is going wrong and we can act before it happens. So anything bad happens. So that's are the five features that we have implemented in the click PoE switch and in our easy mount PoE switch. So I hope that that helps. <laughs> yeah, those are just some really useful features. Yeah, that should be really Thank you, Willie. Really. to our customers. Thank you, Chavi, for coming out, helping me on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below so you can find more information about these switches if you're interested. So I'll see you guys next time for the next Netgear business break. Have a restful and productive weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.